Yeah. Um, I won't see my family this year. I know we're here to pick up mom. Now where's mom? I'm being impatient. She signs out at seven. It's seven oh six. Usually she gets down here at like I don't know seven ten to seven fifteen. Sometimes if stuff happens, uh, it's later. But you know you never know. And I know I know the shoes she's in. Um, so I know how it is. And I don't care as long as I get to the gym and. Uh, 23 minutes, which shouldn't be a problem because it's a four minute drive home. So, should be okay. And even if I'm not at the gym at 7 30, I think I'll. Oh, here she is. Oops. Shit. I opened the trunk. I pressed the wrong button because I'm an idiot. No, 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 no. Bruin. Back, back, back. Hey, Bruin, come here. in the truck. <laughs> no, I'm just an idiot. Hi, bud. Okay, okay, I know, I love you. I love you so much. I know. We gotta go to Jewel. What's a Jewel? Butter. Oh. Hey, bud. Okay. Can you kiss hello? Yeah, I am. Nice coat. Thanks. Right. <laughs> what a tool bag. Oh shoot, did I bring that wallet to work? Oh, it's okay. You gotta make some of this stuff. That's fine. Did you email me like recipes or something? Yeah, I emailed oh, okay. me the recipe for um, the green bean casserole. Mm. And then... Are we gonna have like... This is our, this is our dinner. We're gonna have like. It's our dinner. <laughs> oh, hi, bud. I love you it's, too. I have no idea what it says. It says turkey breast. I sent we you have an those. air fryer. Yeah, I sent you an air fryer recipe. Okay. For the turkey breast. Okay. And then green bean casserole. I just need you to buy a few more green bean cans because it said four cups. Okay. And I bought two cans, and I don't think two cans is four cups. I'm imagining that one can. How many ounces in a can? can? Probably eight. I don't know. That's a small can. Is it eight ounces a cup? <laughs> yes, it is. Curie is terrible at those conversions. <laughs> and it makes me laugh every time she tries to figure it out. My brain wasn't built that way. Well, I think our brains are built pretty much the same way, but okay. I don't think so. Okay. All right, what else? Um, And then mashed potatoes, which you have that recipe for. So for that, you just need... Oh, I did Shout out Nick D. Giovanni on TikTok. Go follow him. He was on yeah. MasterChef. Oh. Um... Okay, so that's the green green bean casserole recipe. Uh, I'm not gonna look at it. I put my recipes are on note card. <laughs> She's we're we're very fancy. Oh, I did this for the mashed potatoes. I need to get chives uh -huh. and then heavy cream. Heavy cream will be in like where the like sour cream is in the like creamer. It'll be in like that section. And then the the chives will be in the vegetable section. And then butter will be over by the eggs. Probably not. You know, but you'll probably take a while. Um, creamer sauce I already got. Stuffing I already bought, gravy I already bought, and the key lime pie. So you really just need like these two things that you're used to. The green bean casserole stuff. Yeah, and then this is like for everything, so you can keep you know what we're making. So you can try to do as much possible when I'm sleeping. Yes. Three note, uh, three sticky notes. Uh, remember what I told you about being uh, a low budget YouTuber? Well, yeah. Also, I was working. Yeah. Also, most of our.
money goes to Brewer's food. What are you doing, bud? What are you sitting here? You're so funny. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. You guys sleep with mom. My dad goes to the gym. How many people were gonna get in with like trauma because they fought their family member? <laughs> Hopefully zero. But. fever, their heart rate corresponds like like every, for every one degree over a hundred, their heart rate should raise by ten beats. Mm -hmm. Okay, so like one oh one you'd be like at a hundred and ten. One oh two you'd be at hundred and twenty. Sure. One oh three you'd be at hundred and thirty. Yeah. Then a patient I mean, had a fever can. to like over a hundred like it was like hundred and four last night and their heart rate was like one forty and they were like, What are we gonna do about this heart rate? And I was like, I I'm pretty sure it's just a appropriate response to the fever, so we just have to give the fever under control. Yep. Then they called the rapid nurse on me, and I was like, what? Success. All right, back in the gym. I'm getting better at being sneaky. First thing is reversed. Lat pull downs. We went really heavy. Did a drop set toward the end, which should be coming out shortly. A little rust pause there. There we go. Big drop. Shake out the hands, then get back into it eventually. Oh, we're, really we're really organized with these things. There we go. <laughs> this set me up for, frankly, failure with the rest of the lift. Coming up here. There we go. I had to lose a sweatshirt after the uh, after those lap pull downs. I was very sweaty. With the landmines and the close grip rows, we did just more drop sets. Five plates, four plates, three plates, until we couldn't go anymore. At this point, I was exhausted, but I was determined to get more reps with four plates. I told Brad, no, don't take any plates off. Okay. <laughs> and then I said, okay, once I was completely exhausted, and finished out my set with three plates. Yeah, it was, uh, I was pretty cooked after this one. Then back to the staple, one arm dumbbell rows. Again, pull forward and then pull back towards your hip. Put the weight in your pocket. After I got done with the 140s, I went back down to the 80s. Again, more drop sets, more exhaustion. The 80s were supposed to be super, super light after the 140s but I was exhausted. They were not light. They hurt a lot. <laughs> oh, shit. Yep, they hurt a lot. All right, last exercise. Do these pull downs for a little bit of the lats, a little bit of the serratus. I have my hand on where I want to concentrate on the actual contraction, just so I don't forget about it, just so I don't get lazy, just so I have something to focus on. It helps me. I've always had a problem with my muscle connection with back. This is just a cue that I can just focus on exactly what I need to be doing. Mike and Brad is the monster behind me. He's, uh, he's a big dude. All right, so now that I'm exhausted in the grocery store, there's something on the list that I can't read. And while all the blood I have is in my back, none of it can go to my brain. But I got butter, I got heavy cream, I got chives, I got the extra can of green beans. But there's something that I can't read here. Where is it? I'll show you. What does that say? C-N-I-U-S?
Uh, oh my god, it says onions. French onions. I think those are those crispy things. Oh god, I have to turn around now. Okay, all right, I'm gonna go find those. All right, so welcome to my kitchen. Uh, <laughs> I did all the shopping that was needed to be done. I have to be sort of quiet because Kiri is still asleep in the bedroom. But for now, I am starving because my legs just started to hurt from whatever I did legs but last. I think it was yesterday. Yesterday. And my back is really sore and I'm very hungry and I haven't really eaten yet today. And it's noon. Oh god, that got away from me. Um, so, when I was at the grocery store, they had chicken thighs on sale, uh, but in bulk. So, I bought uh, <laughs> like seven pounds of them. I eat a lot of chicken thighs and not a lot of chicken breast, and for a number of reasons, really, and here's why. One, they taste better. <laughs> Two, they're less expensive. Three, they have a better micronutrient profile. And four, they keep me fuller longer. Now that's kind of the negative of them because they are higher in fat. But what I'm doing and what I do with all my meat is really cut off the crap. Um, I've already been through one of these packets and in a 3.3 pound pack of chicken thighs, I managed to cut off 12 ounces of fat. So that's a lot of fat. That's a lot of calories that I really don't need. It's a lot of not super healthy stuff that I really don't need. I do need the protein, but I don't need the fat. Other than what's like naturally in the meat. Um, and I don't want you to take this as a, I do this so you should too. I want you to take this as, this is what I do. Everybody is different. Everybody has different preferences. Everybody has different needs. You know, if you're sedentary, you certainly don't need all the protein that I get during the day. If you have, I don't know, if you're somebody who runs marathons, you probably need more carbohydrates than I, than I take in the day. It's got to do with a little bit of diabetes and a little bit of, it's just what I like to eat. But for now, I will continue to trim off all of the fat on all these thighs, and there's a lot of them. So this is a, one that I haven't touched yet. All this white stuff. Focus, there we go. All that white stuff. That's all fat, I don't need to eat that. I don't wanna eat that. So, kitchen shears, and I just kinda of go to town. Quick update, potatoes, what, are cooked and steaming, and the wife wanted a green bean casserole, so a green bean casserole she will have, prepared, awaiting the oven to preheat, and then once that goes in, I will deal with turkey, and then after 25 minutes, the casserole will be done, and then I'm gonna hold it for the next five minutes to cook and I'm just gonna do it before we eat. And in the interim, I will entertain that turkey behind me. That's brewing. All right, I still have not slept yet. Wonderful. All right, feeding time. Mashed potatoes as seen earlier, I think. Stuffing, green bean casserole, turkey breast, focus, cranberry sauce. Pretty standard. It's pretty delicious. Pretty delicious. It's still very warm in here. And I still have the sweatshirt on. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's go. Do you want to cut this up a little bit more? Yeah, I'll cover it a little bit more. I just want to make sure it was done. 
Okay. Game time. Thanks. Thanks, I was sleeping. What's that? Where's Rowan? On the floor. Uh, he wants to eat too. He does, he wants some turkey. He wants to fight Bobby too. I think I might have gotten 45 minutes of sleep. Not a lot of fun, but I have four minutes before I have to leave. So, yeah, um, I won't see my family this year. I'm used to seeing them every month or two, um, but you know, COVID. My parents are pretty healthy but my father's 70, my mother's 65. And, you know, we talked about, you know, risk benefit, you know. Like I said, my parents are in good health. They're getting older. And when you see a mortality rate clip a little bit higher than 5% in COVID amongst those 70 years of age or older, you have to kind of take a pause. Now, how many of those 70 plus year olds were not healthy at baseline? I don't have an exact number for you. My guess is most. Um, how many of those 70 plus year olds lived in a nursing home? Again, I don't have a number for you. But we decided as a family that missing my sister's birthday, my mother's birthday, my father's birthday, my birthday, Thanksgiving, and in all likelihood Christmas this year. You know, skipping those and not getting COVID was worth the risk of getting COVID and going to those. Because on the very slim chance that they get COVID and the slimmer still chance that they die from COVID, it's not worth this one holiday when there's a chance we can get 15, 20, 30 more. That's a decision we made. Some people made different decisions and that's okay. They're allowed to. You know, if they get sick or when they get sick, we'll be here to help them out. But that's my thought process on it. Not ideal, um, you know, we FaceTime, you know, daily, but it's just not the same. And a lot of people know that. But when you've been in the position of having to call so very many family members and tell them that their loved one died from COVID and no you're not allowed to come to the hospital and see them. And no, you couldn't have come to the hospital to talk to them before they went under with the intubation. And no, there will be no autopsy and no, there will be no funeral. And you make that phone call and it ends. You see that side a lot and it just kind of weighs on you after a while. And those feelings don't really go away. So we figured, you know what? There's a chance if we take this year off, we can have another 15 to 30. We took this year off. All right, 10.30, gotta go. So at this stage, it's about 5.15, 5.30 in the morning. We were super busy, super busy all night. Not just all at once, but a constant mind-numbing trickle. Ah, it is what it is. But I was so tired, I forgot to take off my face shield at N95. As you can probably tell, the face shields had better days. There's creases. There are smudges everywhere. I kind of have to look through the top near where the headpiece is, just so I can see the computer. But I forgot to take everything off and just put a surgical mask on. Because really, when you're out here, just in the work area... You don't need an N95. You don't need the face shield. You know, nobody has COVID, not in the patient's rooms. 
everybody who walks by me has a mask on, a surgical mask. You don't really need all this stuff out there. I was just so tired that I forgot. And I hope you guys know just how much I wish I could take you through each one of my patients, each one of my thought processes. You know, for a lot of people, it's, it's helpful. So you know exactly what we do, exactly how we think, just everything that we do, and even more how the team dynamic is between myself and the attending and the nursing staff and the PCTs and how we all just get along and how we kind of fit into each one of our roles. You know, it's really a great teamwork. Again, if you're pre-med or in med school, you'll get here someday. If you're not, maybe you won't know what that feels like. And you better believe I wish you could. Oh boy, that was a shift. I saw 20... Five-ish patients, more or less. Um, <clears throat> some of them came in for reasons that weren't COVID, so that was nice. Uh, many of those patients also had COVID, but they came in for something else. Um, I actually only had one new diagnosis of COVID out of the 25-odd people I saw today. Most of them actually showed up with symptoms of, you know, a lingering COVID infection. Um, I think I remember two years ago, um, the colds for whatever reason, you know, the cough, like post nasal drip, sort of a cough lingered for like six or eight weeks in some people that I saw, you know, last year, not so much. And this year, you know, COVID, um, but a lot of people come in with, you know, hey, you know, I've been hacking up a lung for a month. You know, I got COVID a month ago. Um, now I'm having this kind of weird chest pain. What's going on? More often than not, it's, you know, an intercostal muscle strain or, you know, they're just, you know, you cough so much that the joints in between your ribs start to get a little bit inflamed. We call it costochondritis. Um, and that can hurt. And it hurts worse when you, um, yeah, it hurts worse when you, there's a guy, like, backing up in the lane next to me. It's very peculiar. Um, it hurts worse when you cough. And if you're still coughing, it's gonna still hurt. Um, it's too bad, but, uh, not a lot I can do about it. <sighs> but, you know, one day we'll get through it. So that, frankly, was my Thanksgiving. And the morning after Thanksgiving. Happy Black Friday. Buy something fancy. <laughs> um, if you have the choice, buy it from a small business. You know, with all the, all the lockdowns, you know, the small businesses really got hurt the most. Um, I believe that it is small businesses that keep this country going and not places like Amazon and Walmart and Apple and those kinds of places. Although, they are important in their own rights. Um, I'm a big small business guy, if you haven't figured that out yet. So, go buy from the little guys. Um, but that's, uh, yeah, that's my just north of 24 hours. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I guess COVID in the ED part two, maybe? Nah, probably not. You can probably come up with a catchier title. I don't do clickbait, so maybe I'll try clickbait this time. <laughs> All right, I'm pulling into my apartment. I am going to shower and sleep the sleep of the dead. I hope you guys had a terrific Thanksgiving. If you spent it with your family, I hope you enjoyed every moment of it. If you didn't get to spend it with your family, hopefully someday soon.